pulling off a bean now The drugs that give me confidence, I'm saying what I mean now The Zannies help me slow up, the lean and help me speed down Ballin' ya Alright, yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nasty Spurs And we are back again with a brand new video And uh, in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys a little story That actually happened quite recently And it's actually pretty damn funny so, um, I'm gonna hop into a match quick while I, uh, talk, tell you guys the story so you have something to watch. But, uh, yeah, I will see you in a match. Okay, guys, so we get some good old Nuketown, and the lobby before this was actually an XP lobby, so I had to leave. And I was actually pretty mad because it was a raid. And, uh, by the way, guys, this is my first time playing Free For All in, like, two months. Actually, I played, like, a couple matches before I started recording. So, I'm gonna be a little rusty, guys, not gonna lie. So, don't judge me in the comments. Before I get into my story, guys, I want to actually say that I sold my Xbox One for <laughs> to a friend for a, ho a hundred bucks because I absolutely hate Xbox. I might have told you guys that in yesterday's video, but I don't really know or remember, so I'm just telling you guys that again. You guys probably don't even care. Okay, guys, so let's get right into the story. So this takes place in my second hour class and fourth hour class every day. And those classes are science and social studies, that, that doesn't really matter. So they were science and social studies classes, and there's this transgender in my class goes by the name of Lucas. So here is what has happened. So I didn't really know the girl until, or the boy, my bad, I didn't really know the, the kid until this year. So she, or he, he my bad, he um is a Hillary supporter. And I was, uh, me and all my friends were Trump supporters, and in second hour, we would always talk about Trump and how he was going to win, and she did not like it. She did not like it one bit. So, uh, anyway, she kept doing that, and she was getting, like, hella salty. Like, you don't understand how salty she was actually getting. She was, like, like defending herself and actually taking it personally. So I think that made her quite mad. Then fourth hour, a couple days later, she actually, I turned around and looked at her and then whispered in my friend's ear. I didn't say like anything about her or anything. I kind of just turned around. I mean, I might have said something. I just don't really remember. But anyway, yeah. So I turned around talked to my friend and she thought I was making fun of her handwriting. What? What, <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, okay, so obviously it means I was making fun of her handwriting, but I didn't say that. And so she goes around and tells the teacher that I was making fun of her handwriting, even though I didn't. And I'm like, I actually didn't say that. And then she's like, yes, you did. I heard you. I'm like, well, how did you hear me if that's not what I said? And yeah, so that went on. Uh, I didn't really get in trouble because it's the stupidest thing. And my teacher knows that that's really stupid. But uh, anyway... Me and my friends always talk with like a Mexican, okay, well this is like two weeks later after this happened, after she was like hella salty and stuff. So me and my friends always like to talk with like a Mexican accent type of deal, and oh, back at it again with the frickin' hit markers, this is why I don't play this shit. Two weeks later, back at it with a Mexican accent, and she did not like that either. Apparently she takes things personally. But, um, I don't really find it racist because I am part Mexican. Um, that's actually the truth. I'm not lying. <laughs> and, um, oh my god, I just kind of through the wall. I'm getting so distracted right now, guys. But, okay, we're going to get right back into it. Oh, hold up, guys. Oh, god damn it. So, I started talking like this. I'm like, yo, what's good, son? What's good in the hood, son? You know, be popping, man. I just started like that. And the teacher didn't really care, seemed to care, until she told on me again. Or... He, my bad. So he literally went up to the teacher and told on me for talking with a Mexican accent, saying that I was racist. He pulls me and my friend out of the classroom today, as I speak, and uh, is like, why are you being racist? I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. He said, uh, this girl, or I mean boy, this boy in your class, or our class, is complaining that you're being distracting and rude and racist. And I don't like that. I'm like, okay, well, I'm actually not doing anything, so can I please go? Well, I actually didn't say that in, like, a snotty way, otherwise I'd probably get in trouble. So I kind of just wanted, just got in trouble for this stupidest thing. Like, he didn't do anything. But there's only two weeks left of that class because next semester is actually next week. So, which is also going to suck because finals are also next week. Yeah, and oh my god, dude, it's your freaking balls, kid. Get, god damn it, stupid hoe. But anyway, guys, that is, like, super 
or annoying that I got in trouble for that. But yeah, that class is also super boring, so I kind of do talk a lot, not gonna lie. But you can't blame me. U.S. History is the most boring class ever. All we, all we do is watch videos, and you might think that's fun. But after not learning anything, just sitting there every single day watching a video, it gets really bad, not gonna lie. And then the tests are okay because we can use our study guides, but it's just kind of frustrating, guys. And uh, we just got a project assigned us, and it's due Monday, and today is freaking, what is it? What is it? Yeah, it's like freaking Friday. Yeah, so that's like two days to do my freaking project. I can't do that. But yeah, so that was really it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I, I think I sound more energetic today because I feel a lot better and I went to school today I was not supposed to go to school, but I did because I felt a lot better And then I also had to go to hockey because if I did not I could not play hockey this weekend So yeah, there we go guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Peace out guys. See y'all tomorrow